So the first stop on our Malacca adventure will be to Baba Charlie's Nyanya Cakes. As you can see, there's a variety of delicious treats and food to choose from, all in the price of about 5 ringgit per packet. And the shop closes around 4, so if you would like to crave into your sweet tooth, I do advise coming and checking it out for yourself. This museum does show a lot of the history of Malacca and how it came to be. You'll be able to see the different items brought in from different places and how it influenced the culture in Malacca. To enter is RM5 for Malaysian and RM10 for non-Malaysian. Next, on our poor man's adventure, we head to St. Paul's Church, which is free to access. However, you would have to exercise a bit by climbing a large flight of staircases. Hey everyone, welcome to St. Paul's Church. So St. Paul's Church is one of the oldest buildings in Malacca and also in the whole of Southeast Asia because it was built in 1921 by the British. So let's go and check it out. The architecture is totally influenced by the British as you can see. It was used for 112 years until the creation of Christchurch. After that, it was abandoned up until now. It has become a tourist attraction for you and me to go and take nice pictures. Hey guys, we are in Famosa, and it's the former Portuguese fortress. It's among the oldest surviving European architecture in Southeast Asia. So now let's go! Fun fact, Albuquerque, a Portuguese commander, believed that Malacca would be an important port linking Portugal to China. The fortress used to be a huge structure but now only a gate remains after the war. This place is open to the public. Now let's head to Jonker Walk, which is literally the most famous place in the whole of Malacca. This is the Chinatown Street of Malacca. It has many antiques, textiles, handicraft stores, and as well as galleries. Come on, let's go check it out. Jonker Walk is basically a one-stop shop for you to get anything and everything your heart desires, from different types of delicious food to cutting-edge new fashion, and also different ornaments for you to place in your house. And many other things, in fact. However, not everything is cheap, so therefore before you enter a shop, do check the prices. Moving along on our adventure, we noticed a big ship in the distance and wondered what it was. When we got closer, we found out that it was a museum called the Maritime Museum. To enter is about 5 ringgit for a Malaysian and 10 ringgit for a foreigner. The work in this museum was started in early 1889. However, it was opened to the public by then Prime Minister Marvin Mahathir in 1994. It has about 20,000 monthly visitors. Let's go check it out. The museum mainly focuses on how Malacca once was a renowned port and encompasses all of the traits of being a marine at sea. So, for those of you who have never seen a ship in real life before, I would totally recommend you to come and check it out as you can live your fantasy of being in a ship and also learn about how the lives of the people in the ship were. Doctrine 
Imperial Systems, Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism. It is the oldest functioning temple in Malaysia. Let's check it out. This temple is known as the Merciful Club Temple and attracted a lot of tourists from mainly China to come and pray. Now, we are at a small temple located at the foot of Bukit China. There's a well-known ancient well outside of the temple. We could also see a statue of Cheng Ho here. Now we It looks extremely gorgeous with the light beams along the river. Jungle Night Market is full of food. Really wanted to try everything out. on a tight budget, here's the best place for you to come and have your meal done. From here, you know how much we love Chandel. travel to Malacca with less than 100 ringgit. Follow what we did and you too can enjoy a budgeted short vacation. Thank you. Mm -hmm.